Yo, yo, what is up, guys? Welcome to the Fantasy Addiction Network. Sorry, we're a tad late this week, but we are coming here real quick talking about tonight's game, the Thursday night football game between the Miami Dolphins and the Jacksonville Jaguars, giving you guys all of the lowdown on this game of who to start, who to sit, what we think of this game. Let's get right into it and start talking about I'm actually pretty excited for this game. You know, this is one of those types of games that probably wouldn't really matter or care very much if it wasn't for fantasy football. Although pretty excited to see the beard versus the mustache with Ryan Fitzpatrick and Gardner Minshew tonight. Vegas actually likes this game a lot too. We've got a 48 and a half point over under, which is pretty high, especially for some teams that, you know, a lot of people didn't think too much of their offense heading into the year. Uh, Jaguars are slated to win this one by three, giving us roughly a 26 to 23 point implied point total there. Now, as we mentioned last week, we don't really care too much about uh, points against and at least until we have like three or four data points, but we will kind of talk about it. Through two weeks, the Dolphins are giving up the second most points to quarterbacks, 20th most to running backs, fourth most to receivers, and they've been very stingy against tight ends, but they play the uh, Patriots and the Bills who don't really have a fantasy tight end of note. So keep that in mind as well. But, you know, giving up a lot of points to quarterbacks. We saw Josh Allen go off against them in week two. Cam Newton had a day in week one. So the Dolphins, especially with Byron Jones out, have been a uh, you know really bad team against the quarterback. So it's going to be good news for your offensive skill position players in Jacksonville. A little bit better against the running backs, but they, again, haven't really played any uh, notable running backs with Sony Michelle and Devin Singletary, not the greatest of fantasy options there. So I think their defense all around is some uh, defense that we can exploit for fantasy purposes. Now, jumping over and looking at the Jaguars, similar story. The Jaguars are giving up the 11th most points to quarterbacks, 10th most to running backs, 20th to receivers, and they are the third uh, worst team against the tight end, giving up the third most points there in fantasy. Uh, When we look back at their matchups they faced the Colts and then last week they faced the Titans gave up a massive massive day to Johnny Smith we saw Jack Doyle have a good game so this is obviously going to be a really good game for Mike Gesicki a little bit better against the receivers um you know last week Corey Davis had an okay game Adam Humphreys was all right in week one we saw Paris Campbell have a decent game T.Y. Houghton have a good game so both of these defenses are ones that we can exploit for fantasy purposes. So there's going to be a lot of names tonight. It's going to be a really fun game. I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, in terms of who we're actually starting and sitting, I like both quarterbacks here. I, I know Ryan Fitzpatrick is probably going to be hard to throw out there, and you probably can find a better streaming option. If I had to choose between these two, I would go with Gardner Minshew. Uh, but looking at the Dolphins first, you know we're going to start our core guys. We're going to start Fitzpatrick. I think there's going to be a lot of points scored on both sides tonight. Uh, Devontae Parker looks like he's going to go, and he came through for you last week against a much tougher Bills defense. I think Devontae Parker has a really good game tonight. And then Mike Gusecki is almost a must-start. And There's probably you know six or seven tight ends that I would start over him, but especially in PPR leagues, we saw what he did last week. Mike Gusecki is a wonderful play tonight, and hopefully he comes through for you again. Uh, in terms of the running back, I think Miles Gaskin is an okay flex. Uh, not someone I'm like rushing out, but if you're in a, a desperate situation where you lost Saquon Barkley or you lost Christian McCaffrey or maybe both, maybe you lost Raheem Mostert and you're staring down, like maybe you picked up Miles uh, Gaskin and Deion Lewis or Miles Gaskin and Mike Davis. I like Miles Gaskin better than those guys this week. I think he has some more upside playing against this Jaguars defense that gave up a lot of points to Naheem Hines. Uh, they didn't give up as much to Derrick Henry. They've been better at stopping the run, but Miles Gaskin is more of that pass catching running back anyway. And we saw what Naeem Hines did. So I'm not as worried about the fact that the Jaguars front seven looks good against stopping the run because Miles Gaskin, again, more uh, of the receiving back there. So if you need to start him, it's definitely something you can do. Preston Williams and Isaiah Ford. One of these guys is probably going to have a good game and I'm going to be wrong here, but I don't want to take a guess between the two. Preston Williams looked kind of crummy last week and Isaiah Ford had a lot of targets so he's looking to uh, try to steal that wide receiver two spot there in Miami I'm not going to mess with it tonight I'm starting Parker and Gesicki and I'm not going to mess with any of the other pass catchers again I have Gaskin in the second guest column just because there's a lot more running backs I'd rather play than him but if you're in a situation where you know you're choosing between a lot of questionable guys I like Gaskin a bit more than is being 
portrayed here. I wouldn't start Howard or Burita for anything right now. I'm not going to start the Dolphins defense until they show that they can do anything. On the Jaguars side, you know, Minshew, Robin, uh, Minshew we already talked about is going to be a great play. Minshew is, you know, been a top 12 quarterback two weeks in a row now. It looks like he could do that again against the poorest Dolphins defense and at home here. James Robinson has been absolutely phenomenal. He didn't see as many snaps last week, but he had an even better game, 21 points in, in PPR. And, you know, looks really good out there. Divino Zigbo is on IR. We still haven't heard from Ryquel Armstead. He went on the COVID IR list before the season started. He's been out for a few weeks, so I'm not sure if he's still dealing with it or what's going on in that situation. But other than um, Chris Thompson, you know, Robinson is the only running back getting touches here. And as we mentioned before, the Dolphins defense has been okay against running back, but they haven't faced anyone tough. I think Robinson is a wonderful start this week. Definitely a top 20 play. Okay, quick update. Sorry to dub this over, but literally while I just recorded the last video, we just got word that DJ Chark is out tonight. He is dealing with a chest and back injury, and they decided to uh, you know, not put him out there. So forget what I said about DJ Chark being a good play this week. Flip it around, and looks like I'm going to be throwing Keelan Cole and LaVisca Chennault into my lineup. I think both of them are going to be pretty decent starts this week. Keelan Cole has actually been the most targeted receiver for Jacksonville. LaVisca Chennault gives you that nice baseline, as we mentioned, with his carries, and I think he'll have some more play this week. Chris Conley, someone I would really only be throwing out there in the absolute most desperate of situations, but going to have some more of a baseline tonight with Chark out, but Keelan Cole and Chanel, I think are both really good starts now, especially in a game that we're expecting to, you know, have a lot of points scored. So forget what I said about DJ Chark breaking out tonight and rewriting the wrong. Looks like we're going to have to wait another week for him to break out, but Keelan Cole and LaVisca Chanel become decent plays tonight. Uh, Eifert, I mean, he had the touchdown last week. He, he saw a decent amount of targets, but I, I need to see more from him before I'm comfortable throwing him into my lineup. And then Chris Thompson just hasn't been involved enough. I think this game, the Jaguars should be in control for most of it, so they won't really need to switch over to Chris Thompson. And then the Jaguars defense, like if there is a blowout tonight, I think it's more likely that the Jaguars blow the Dolphins out. And Ryan Fitzpatrick has always been known to throw a good bit of interceptions. So not the worst play in the world, but not someone I'm trying to jam into my lineup. But uh, overall for my prediction, I think this game is going to hit the over. I got the Jaguars winning this one by 6, 34 to 28. Should be a really fun game. Lots of fantasy points to go around. Make sure you get a couple guys in your roster so you can enjoy this game a bit more. Thursday night games are always more fun when you're rooting for your players. So Get, get some of your guys in there and enjoy this game on Thursday night. Guys, we will be doing our live stream tonight, going over all the early and late games. We'll do two streams tonight to, to get you guys situated for the rest of the week. But hopefully this helps you for your Thursday night matchup. And good luck tonight. We will see you guys in the next video.